Hey guys, this is Wide Body Scat 520. Back with another video. I hope you guys have had a Merry Christmas. Everyone's happy and healthy. I had a few subscribers send me some direct messages asking for certain content, which I have always said, if you want to see something, just ask me and I will show it to you or try my best to provide it. I hope everyone's happy and healthy. I hope old Santa Claus is good to you. This is Jezebel, guys. This is my wide body scat pack charger. She's a 2020. If you're new to the channel, this is her. This is what the whole channel's about. She's been indoors during the heavy snow that we got here in Kentucky. I kept her in the garage out of the elements. She's still clean. I washed her before we got our big snow. Guys, I'm on IG as well. Same handle. Wide body scat 520. She has 5% tent. I changed the emblems around on her. As you can see. She has the stock rims for now. I have some coming in. They're in as a matter of fact. And we're going to see if they will fit. The last time they didn't fit. I purchased some from B&B Wheels online. And they didn't fit. And they wouldn't take the return. So guys, if you're going to buy wheels, don't buy from them. I've had a very, very bad occurrence with them. Guys, I had a uh, subscriber ask me a question. I am a retired police officer. If you go back in my early videos, you'll see. I tell you all about that some experiences with it. Uh, they asked me about cars, about speeding tickets, things of that nature. And I told them, you know, if, if that's what they want to know, I'll answer it. So guys, as a police officer, I can tell you right now, when buying a car, if you're going to buy a sports car like a Scat Pack or a Charger 5.7, you know, something that's really got some hum to it. Uh, Mustangs, Corvettes. Don't buy red. <laughs> red is death sentence for getting a speeding ticket. They stand out more. It's a national survey. It's a national fact that uh, <laughs> most of the time, whenever someone owns a red car, they will speed. And guys, this doesn't matter if it's a four-cylinder, six-cylinder V8, uh, V10. It doesn't matter. It's just the truth. Red cars are usually going faster on the highway. Now, I don't know why, but sometimes, guys, that's what we're looking for. You know, when a person becomes a police officer, most of the time that I've known every officer in my life, does it to protect society. Now I've known some that do it just to be able to get the upper hand and have some authority. And guys, that's the wrong thing to do. And I always told them it was wrong and they usually change. But when you're young and you first put on that badge going out to put your life on the line for everyone in your community, everyone around you, you put your family in danger, guys. You put your friends in danger. Taking that step is a huge step in someone's life. And it is a step that some are made for and some aren't. And even some that should be us won't because of that step, because of the danger that comes with the job. 
I know society in 2020, or the media, let's put it that way, I don't think it's society at all. I think it's the media has really kept the war on the police with the things that went on. And I disagree with their, with their handling of it. I'm always for my brothers. And guys, if you ever become a police officer, you'll understand that statement. But I digress. Back to the speeding tickets and back to the color of the cars. Guys, bright colors usually attract attention. Uh, just like me with Jezebel, she's solid black, but I put carbon fiber white racing stripes from the stem to the stern over. Just to make her stand out on her own. Just to be different. That's why I did it. And yes, I get pulled over, guys. I sure do. But luckily, it's most of the time officers that I know or that know of me. So I just get warnings. And I'm very lucky at that. Now, I have gotten tickets. Sure have. As a retired police officer. It's part of the job. I don't get mad. I was noticing watching uh, some of the guys I'm subscribed to on YouTube. A couple of them were being stopped by police officers. And it's the same officer stopping them. And they've stopped them two or three different times from what they've said. And it's not that they're speeding. Uh, one was for the plates that hadn't gone through yet. And, you know, guys, the police officer shouldn't be doing that. He should know in his jurisdiction. He should know what's going on. He should go to the clerk's office and say, guys, what's going on with the plate holdup? He shouldn't be out pulling the same people over and over. I disagree with that. I wouldn't do that as a police officer. And I don't know any officers that would. If they stopped you one time for bad plates, I don't see them stopping you again in the way things are now. Now, expired plates or expired temporary tags, which is what this was over, was in the temporary tag because the guy bought the vehicle in a different state and brought it back over and... Uh, into his state that he's living in now. And the, the plates haven't arrived. Guys, when I bought this thing, it took me four months to get my plates. Four months. And I was not stopped by any police officer because of it. Because they know. Police officers have to be smart of their laws, smart of the state laws, smart of constitutional laws. That's my advice to any police officer is be very, very smart of constitutional law, guys. Because that supersedes all state laws. Federal law is pretty much the word of God when it comes to our society. Know those laws. Know the civilians' laws for those federal laws that are kept in those federal laws. I know all of that if you're going to be a police officer. Because it is a hard job, guys. And you know, no matter what, when you're a cop, you're the line in the sand for the good and the bad and the ugly, right? But guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for going off on another tangent. Uh, but, you know, police officers, please know all of your state constitutional laws pertaining to citizens and, you know, protect and serve, guys, just as I did. You know, we're going to mess up, but we got to learn from our mistakes and keep working forward to help society, to better society, and to stand tall and to stand in between the good and the bad because that's our job, is to make sure everyone's safe. And I love you all for it. But anyway, on the subject of, I think it was 707 Cat had commented on my last video about... Uh, Wanting to know, you know, the colors of the cars. And guys, I'm telling you, bright colors, when we're out there running radar, we're not really sitting there. You don't pick cars and, and those things. You just, you kind of notice one car going faster and hit the radar. It's instant on, instant off. You know, it's that kind of thing. Guys, if you... <laughs> If you want to drive fast, I suggest getting a radar detector. 
if they are legal in your state, obtain one so you can, you know, keep yourself safe from getting those tickets because they are expensive and they are very, 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 very expensive at times. So guys, that's my, that's my take on the, any color of car that kind of stands out for police officers. It's not really the color of the car, but I will tell you that red cars and brightly colored cars do catch our eye a lot quicker. And, uh, you know, those are the ones that usually get hit with the radar first. So I'll give you that warning. But as I said, get you a radar detector and keep yourself safe because they're just out doing their job, guys. And that's it. It's nothing personal. It's not a vendetta against society. It's we're out there doing our job, trying to keep everybody safe from themselves and everyone around them. That's it. Well, guys, this has been Wide Body Scat 520. Uh, sorry about the tangents. I hope you've had a happy holiday. I hope your family's healthy. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything else you wish to know, guys, just ask. And, hey, we'll, we'll figure it out, okay? You guys have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching.